Film Fun, starring the cinema manager, with special guest star, the commissioner, Reg the projectionist, and Doreen the usherette. Oh, and Derek Griffiths. Good evening, Derek. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Hello, Hunky. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Film Fun. Remember that last week I was constantly being interrupted by that PNS fellow? So just in case he's here today, I've put cotton wool in my ears so that I won't be distracted by any noise. Are you all right, Derek? Of course I don't want to fight. It's a strange man. Now, over the last few weeks, we've met a number of the leading Warner stars, Porky Pig, Pepe Le Pew, and Bugs Bunny. I don't think it's particularly funny, Commissioner. I once had a bloke like him in my platoon in the army. They told him if he didn't pull up his socks, his job would be in jeopardy. Oh, he said, I've always wanted to work overseas. Another idiot. Today, we're going to meet another two stars from the Warner Studios, brought together in 1947 by Fritz Freeling. One was a temperamental cat called Sylvester, and the other, Tweety Pie, the canary whose catchphrase was soon to become known around the world. I tore, I tore a putty tat. I agree, Commissioner. You are getting fat. That film, Birds Anonymous, won an Academy Award in 1957. As well as the stars of the studios like Sylvester and Tweety, there was a galaxy of supporting players, characters who spent their time acting as foils for the stars. One such creation was Bugs Bunny's most durable antagonist, Yosemite Sam, modeled, it is said, on the very man who directed his cartoons, Fritz Freeling. Here he is in a 1951 merry melody, Ballot Box Bunny. Here, here, quick, here. Before we start, between you and me, right under your hat, know what I mean? If you look carefully, you'll see Bugs give an impersonation of this skeezer. He says something like, uh, speak softly and carry a big stick and you'll go far. Well, this bloke is Teddy Roosevelt, and he was once president of the United States, right? <laughs> it's done. Get on with it, Reg. It's coming, it's coming. I can't hear anyone humming. I really like Bugs Bunny. He's so soft and cuddly, you know, and he's, he's so funny. He really makes me laugh. In many ways, he reminds me of my boyfriend, Ronnie. Oh, you mean that Ronnie lives in a hole in the ground and eats carrots? There's no need to be rude about Ronnie. He's a very kind and talented person. You know, he used to be a tap dancer, but he had to give it up. Yeah, he fell into the sink and broke his ankle. <laughs> tap dancer fell into the sink. <laughs> Get on with it! You know, Ronnie once offered to give me a mink on one condition. A mink? How nice. What was the one condition, Doreen? That I kept its cage clean. This cotton wool is very successful. So far, I haven't heard a word anyone's been saying. You're lucky, pal. I really do not wish to complain, but we are running out of time. Is it not possible to pep it up a bit? I'm sorry, but I, I don't understand a word you're saying. Can we go more quickly? Quickly, quickly. Well, now you mention it, you do look a little sickly. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Oh, thank you so much. I will. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, I see. You want something quick. <laughs> well, how about Speedy Gonzales? Yes, yes, but hurry. I never worry. Speedy was the last in the long and distinguished line of Warner cartoon stars. He first appeared in this 1953 cartoon, Cat's Tales for Two, supporting a cat and dog team called George and Benny. Although they were never to be seen again, Speedy, redesigned and wearing his famous sombrero, went on to become a star, eventually winning an Academy Award in 1955. It's no good. I'm, I'm not coming down until that mouse is out of the house. No, do leave it out, Doreen. If that mouse has any intelligence, it'll take one look at you and surrender. Now, come along, you two. Off you go. We're running a trifle late. I've got to lock up and turn the lights off. Come along, everybody. Well, that's the last film for today. But before we go, I would like to tell you about next week's... Anyone else in there? I'm locking up now. Couldn't agree more. Things really are looking up. <laughs> now, where was I? Uh, ah, yes. Next week, we'll be introducing that darn fool Duck Daffy, and I'll be in the dark. Yes, I'll be in the dark in the... What's going on? Let me out! Yeah. <laughs>